welcome back. This is Bosco with an episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. I'm joined as always by my paladin, Al Hazir, is with us once again. Uh, when we last left off, we made it to the Frigid Highlands Waypoint. I don't remember if we got this quest or not, but as soon as you get here, you have to find the soldiers in the Frigid Highlands. This, <laughs> this is a huge ass area. I'm just gonna say this now. Holy crap! And we do have uh, new enemies. These are Crush Beasts. Um, they will have uh, the annoying demons on top. I'll swing around and get in and hit them. There we go. Okay. Oh, jeez, man. Those guys can be annoying. Uh, unfortunately, there's not much I can do about it. Uh, I might have to switch eventually my setup just a little bit and put. Um, Mana potions on uh, on three, so that I, I can start replacing mana. I should have probably done that for uh, Diablo. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing that before we get to Bale, though. Definitely, because uh, as we go further along, I'm going to be using more of my Blessed Hammer, less of my physical attacks, because especially on these guys, these demon imps, which I guess are upgrades, it's hard to hit them with melee. Always difficult to hit them like that. Uh, is one of you a champion? No, you're stone skin. Stop teleporting away on me. God, I hate these guys. I might not kill all of these guys. I might not. I, there's... Whoa, a reflex bow. These guys are so incredibly annoying that it, I just might not do it. I, I just might not be able to find them all and just, like, fuck it, I'm running. Screw it. And not because I'm low on health or I'm low on mana, just because I'm tired of chasing them. There's this poison. Sweet. Well, Frigid Highlands is going to be the first of many areas that are designed like this. I believe we just have to go to the other side. There are going to be a lot of buildings around here, apparently. This was some kind of civilization that we're going through. Uh, complete with buildings and everything. It's not going to be a complete town like it was with uh, Act 3, uh, where you were just basically harassed. There's a weapon right there. Oh, oh, how, oh wow, I almost missed that. It's gr to sell. It's not particularly for me, though, unfortunately. But that's good. You know what? I'll put that in there. I don't know why. I was I, I just realized that I still had uh, a Tome of Town Portal in my stash. Why was I keeping that there? I could easily buy another one at any time. I think because I was just uh, going so long with uh, Max Town Portals that I was thinking that I, you know, I don't want to sell it, uh, I'll wait until I don't have town portals so then I can use those to replace it. And then as soon as I got uh, room to to use those as uh, in, in the first town portal tome that I forgot to you know, move it over. So I did move it over, now I have a little bit more room. Uh, still not, um, not enough room to store all my items right now in the stash. Uh, we are talking about runes, gems, all that kind of stuff. I am not a fan of the Crush Beasts. Not because they particularly do a lot of damage. If you ever see the screen shake, it's because they stop. Um, but I I'm not a fan of them because they can have the Rascals on top, and so they start doing the massive fire attack, which you saw just a constant stream of fire. Much similar to uh, what we saw the Venom Lords doing back in hell. Of course, the demon rascal pops off the top and sees it. Let's destroy it. Then take out. Take that out, please. Chests around here, of course. Ooh, more town portals. Another super heal. I'm full on super heal. Nice. Nice. We are getting there. Damn it, crush beast. Uh, th those are not the only things that demon rascals and. Whatever the I'll, just, I'll probably just call them demons that the demons can get on top of and use that attack. We will see more of those later. It sucks. God, does it suck? All right. Uh, I haven't been having too too big of a problem with the mana right now, so I, I may not need to uh, to go over to mana potions for a while. But uh, I will definitely 
try to do that, try to remember to do that before we get to bail. I'll go over what those were in just a second. Let me finish these guys off first. One of them is awesome. I don't know if we've seen one of them before. I can't remember what happened in the last set. Why? Who knows? Probably because I'm forgetful and have been busy. Or something similar to that. It's just a regular demon imp, but he looks like he was glowing to me. Why did he glow? Okay, so I picked up the Horned Helm, uh, which is going to be good, and I'm going to sell that Spear Master. He's damn good. And this Jared Stone. This thing is almost always awesome. And I will always have it with me. Okay, come on. Give me good gloves. Give me good gloves. No whammies, no whammies. Stop. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. God, how, how good is my poison resist? My poison resist is awesome already. It's gonna... But it does have plus to dexterity? No. Okay, we're, we're switching. We finally switched. We have done it. We have found something that's better than what I had forever. My poison, okay, the poison length reduce is, 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 well, that's finally down. It's, that's gone. Ooh, chip topaz. Uh, now we're starting to find the buildings. And the buildings are no fun. Because, oh! Is that the regular? No, Sharp 2 Slayer, he's extra fast. We're going to find a lot of, uh, Shink the Overseer skins around here. One with a Gladius. And oh. damn, let us out, of course, sure, whatever you say. And then they open up a portal. You cannot go through that portal. Try as hard as you want, you can't go through it, and it disappears because they're dead. They don't know how town portals are supposed to work. Damn, there's a lot of stuff around here. You find that you start getting just a ton of enemies and loot before. It, uh, Sandra starts finishing off the stragglers because you're too lazy to, or at least I'm too lazy to go chase down every freaking one. More crush beasts. Uh, so I have rescued some. That's not more. That's not enough. I need ten more in order to, to complete the quest. I'm just going to go back to town from here. Why not? But finally, I've been able to get rid of those gloves. I'm very happy about that. Why is Deckard Kane over there? I've never seen him over there, and of course he does yes. it in the single player. He's usually hanging out right here, right in this area right here. But no, he didn't want to hang out by the stash. Or it'd be logical for him to hang out because that's where he's always hang hung out before. Get rid of that war axe. 1,500. Yeah, 1,200. You're telling me that these are technically better. But they're, these are going to be better for me in the long run. Fire is definitely something that I need to upgrade anyway. Uh, that sold for over a thousand. That's good enough for me. That wasn't that great. Uh, usually it's better. I can sell these as well. I already repaired. You can also have the keys. And I repaired, what, like four times there? Three, four times? <laughs> I just want to be sure I'm repaired, apparently. Here, let's heal up. And do you have anything that I need? Three to concentration, one to blessed hammer, plus one to mana after each kill. Yes, please. That's all I can say. And there goes half my money. Over half my money is now gone. It does plus three to vengeance. I don't really give a shit about that, though. Alright, so this is uh, plus one to mana after each kill. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this then. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is gonna go. Hate to do it. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, one to vigor. You can't even buy it back. It's gone. Like forever. Apparently, it's gone forever. Okay. So I've <laughs> I've gotten a couple upgrades. Wow. So this is what it looks like when you equip the war scepter. It looks a little bit like a hammer. As you can see, I, I don't know why they, they made it look that way, to be honest with you. <laughs> but there went most of my money. And now I can do... Oh, I forgot about you. And you. And you. I will deal with you in just a moment. First, we want to deal with th these topazes. Topaz eye. I don't know. 
<laughs> we want to deal, deal with the topaz that we have. Get that full up to a regular topaz. You guys can go there. You can go there. There, there, there. And you can go in there. And then you can stay. And now we're good. Well, I need to sell again. But still, we're good. This should sell for max. No, not even close. What the hell? And this was crap, too. Look at that. Look how awesome these, this bow is. One to all bow and crossbow skills for Amazons. Plus one to maximum damage. 44 attack rate. One to 16 lightning damage. Plus three to light radius. So it's for 2,500. Freaking ses sexist game. Freaking sexist. So, uh, I never did finish my story about uh, me nerd splurging. So, uh, I, I ended up going back out, right? And I was in, in, in search of more things. And I talked to people. Uh, right? I said I was going to go to uh, the anime store and ask them if they could bring something in for me. Apparently, like, they don't make Xenogears collectibles. I am so disappointed about that. Will you... Uh, fine. Whatever. Oh, these are skulls and rocks. I, uh, I think we've seen one of these. And yes, you have to destroy the doors. I don't know if you saw Al Hazir do that, but he destroyed the door. Uh, I, w I went to the anime store and asked them, Hey, do you have uh, anything about from Xenogears? And they're like, I think we have a book. And I'm kind of like, I'm looking more for, like, a thing. And here we found a barricaded tower. It's immune to poison. I do believe that the thing that's on top dies, because I don't see him respawn most of the time when I... I destroy the tower. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I walked up and I asked them, uh, Hey, I'm looking for Xenogears. And they're like, oh yeah, Xenogears. Uh, we can... Uh, we, we used to have something in here that was Xenogears, but uh, we sold it. And I'm like, okay, well... Ooh, a yellow Jared stone. See, you see the whole screen shake there? That's from the Crush Beast when it stomps. I don't think it does any damage or anything like that. Ooh. Diamond! Nice. Uh, so, I was like, well, can you special order something in for me? And they're like, uh, let me check. So they checked and they said, well, I can get you a Cosmos. Oh. Well, no. He was like, well, were you looking for somebody in particular? I'm like, I would love a Satan, you know, from the game that I'm asking about, not the sequel technically prequel, but not the follow-up game. Uh, he didn't even pronounce it right. He was like, we had a Cosmos in here. And it took me a second. I'm like, what? Oh, no. Uh, I've seen uh, Cosmos Cosmoses go online. Um, you know, I've seen, I've seen them for sale. Uh, most of them are, like, overtly sexy. And that's not exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I have that already. I don't need an actual figurine of it. I have plenty of other things. Uh, but that that's basically what they sold. And that was all they could get me. So, Unfortunately, they don't make anything uh, Xenogears related. I, I even looked on eBay, looked on Amazon. The only thing I could find was tan in it. Was a Yao Yaoi book between him and Faye. It was not that appealing <laughs> to me. Could be to you. If you guys want to buy it, I think it was gone for like 20 bucks. Feel free to look into getting that for yourself. They also had one with uh, Faye and Bart. Which I thought would have been more natural, to be honest with you, but I'm sure Satan had his moments as well. But, uh, yeah, no collectibles for Xenogears. I was very disappointed about that. They even have, uh, Chrono Trigger ones, no problem. Uh, it's not like I was asking for a really obscure game. Apparently it's just obscure enough for everybody to have heard of it, but for nothing to be made about it. Uh, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get anything from Xenogears. I did find, uh, copies of, uh, Perfect Works, which is the, the book that the, the story is based off of. <laughs> They were going for $300 for a book, and I'm, like, just re-release copies, man. I don't, I don't want, like, a collector's edition. I want, I want the book for, you know, reading. Have we seen a gothic plate before? Yeah, we've seen a gothic plate. 
They're decent. It's <laughs> the best way to put it. They're decent. Uh, the uh, the Perfect Works book, apparently it's incredibly rare, so you can't get it in most places. I also looked uh, for Gino from Super Mario RPG, right? Because, uh, you know, I, I owe a lot of uh, my gaming history to, to Mario. For a long time, it was the only thing that I played was Nintendo games, Mario, Donkey Kong, that kind of stuff. Uh, on the Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, for whatever reason, I never got into to Zelda as a kid. Just it, it just never appealed to me. I thought when I, when I was looking at you know eight nine, I look back, I'm like, I really should have played that. What the hell was my problem? But I, I just never played it as a kid. There's a lot of series that I missed out on as a kid that I've later found out was really were really good. This is actually an optional dungeon, so we're actually going to go down it now. There are some really good equipment that you can find in here. This is Abaddon. So let's go. Uh, refilling Shrine. I, d I didn't really get a chance to see it before I already clicked on it. There are... Um, yeah, it, it was pretty much the River of Flame again from Hell, but there are tougher enemies here than you'll find anywhere else. And like these Blood Lords. These Blood Lords, if you're not careful, will help you mess your day up. You've got to be careful with those guys. They they do a lot of damage. They have this little, I don't know, like lightning twirl around them. Tornado thing. I don't know. It does damage, though. It does quite a bit of damage. Yeah, that thing. I don't know what that is. It's probably some kind of super fast attack that they're trying to do. But to me, it always looks like elemental things. I'm, the, those are what I'm looking for when I'm like scanning here. <laughs> it's hard to tell the skull piles away from everything else. Resist fire shine, nice. So unfortunately, with my with my gloves gone, I do fear poison a little bit more now. Uh, it, the the length won't be reduced by the 75%, uh, but I still have so much poison resist that it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Flawed amethyst, nice. Uh, don't need the key right now, I think, because we haven't come across very many locked things lately. So it, I have confirmed it. I, I, I am recording these after I uh, had posted the last, a uh, little bit of the last set of videos, and talked about the uh, the mini marathon this weekend. Uh, as you can probably clearly see already, I did decide to go ahead and do the mini marathon. Um, that that that's what this is going to be a part of. Uh, in order to get this released uh, fully before uh, Diablo 3 comes out. This part technically isn't that important to the plot, I would assume, the expansion set. Uh, but I do want to fully complete the game, you know. So give you guys as much information as there is, especially uh, the, the bonus dungeon, too. <laughs> because that's hilarious what they did with the bonus dungeon. Uh, you, you gotta give them props that they don't always take themselves too seriously. Blizzard, sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. I'm looking at you, pandas. But some th they don't... they aren't scared sometimes to make fun of themselves. Um, the bonus dungeon in this game is the result of an April Fool's joke that people took seriously. Uh, I can't, like, travel through there? Okay, whatever. I'll just move on then. Uh, usually there is a glowy chest at the back here. At least a special or some kind of uh, some kind of you some kind of champions or something like that. Usually here at the end. It's not like it's going to be a big boss or anything like that. These these are at, this is actually pretty long. This is longer than I was expecting when I came in. Uh, what was I talking? Oh, wow. Uh, Gino from Super Mario RPG, right? Uh, I was always a fan of that game. Always a fan of Gino in particular. And any if I got anybody else from Mario, you know, everybody would know it. If I got Yoshi, they'd be like, I like your Yoshi. I love him. And Super Mario Sunshine, it was the first one I ever played. Oh. Well, then that makes me feel old. So, if I got, uh, Gino, right? Gino never made a reappearance. Can I go around this side? No. Okay, I have to go around. You know, if I got Gino, then you're only going to find people that are 
that are old school fans of the game that are gonna recognize him. Uh, but they only made ever one Geno doll. So, as you might imagine, it's kind of rare and expensive. Uh, it's not that expensive, but I mean, we're talking about sixty dollars for a like three, four inch plush figurine. You know, that's that's kind of a lot of money for not that great of a thing. So I, I, I had no interest in getting that, unfortunately. Of course, he's the only one from Super Mario RPG I would go for. <laughs> like screw Malo. Nobody, nobody liked Malo. Uh, maybe the croc. He was my gaming nemesis for many years. But I was able to finally defeat him. Nice! There's a chest! No special enemy, no champions or anything. That is a little disappointing. I think I picked up a... I am overburdened. Yeah, I picked this up. Did not need that. So it's back to town that we go, I think? No! Not yet. Not yet. Give me that crystal sword. A scroll of identify. Uh, the the game that yeah, the Super Mario RPG. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, maybe go look at it. Maybe I'm not that proud of it because it's one. Of, it was my first. Uh, well, it was the first RPG that I kind of took seriously. I guess you could say, like the Seven Saga. I was kind of goofing around a bit with it just kind of a practice for me, and then Super Mario RPG was kind of a second practice. It was like a dress rehearsal. So, I was in... It, it's not my best work, but it's good. It's good. Uh, so, I, I ended up not getting any of those things. I didn't get anything from the anime store, even though I kind of wanted it. There was like a, a lot of cool um, Final Fantasy characters in there, but they're still in the box. I kind of want to go for the cheap one outside of the box, because I'm crazy like that. Right back to the frigid highlands that we go. Um, the the things I ended up getting, I ordered on Amazon. I did I did get everything that I ordered from Amazon in the mail already. That's how I know I haven't talked about this for a long time. I already got the shipments. I already got my shirt. It says Prefectionist on it. Uh, I already got a shirt from uh, Shaun of the Dead advertising the Winchester. Oh, a spear. That could be really good, really, really, really good. So let's um, go identify over here for whatever reason. Uh, so what I ended up getting on top of the shirts, where is he? There he is. Stay a while and Jeez, you were kind of hard to see there. Uh, I, on top of the t-shirts, the two t-shirts, I ended up getting a uh, afternoon, a bottle opener slash keychain. Thing uh, that says WW and then a picture of Spock D. What would Spock do? When oh, damn! Assassins. Nice. How's this? Uh, not that great. How? It didn't even sell for that much. Uh, that can go. That's not for me. Um, so I got yeah Spock, and I ended up also getting more Final Fantasy stuff. Uh, I ended up getting the swords. Um, they're about two inches, uh, and they're like chrome plated. I don't know what they're made on the inside. Probably like zinc or something like that, something cheap. Uh, but I ended up getting um, all the swords, mo well, some of the swords from Final Fantasy VII through Final Fantasy X-2. Um, they had them all in one package, so I got that. Unfortunately, it looks like. Gonna have to keep you guys out of there for now because I am full again. Uh, so yeah, that that was the end of my nerd spree. Um, on the non-nerd things that I was looking to buy, um, I, I I also went to the uh, trading card store. I went to two of them. Um, I went to one, it, it had this big advertisement out front, sports cards, and then kind of in the corner, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I'm like, oh wow, that's an old sign. You know, I'm still selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> but then I went inside, and three quarters of the store is devoted to Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, that was like all he was selling was Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I walk in, and I'm looking for baseball cards, right? I still have a baseball card collection from when I was a kid. But, uh... You know, I'm looking in there and... Oh, Lockaber Axe! Uh, these... Are new. Did I... I fucking emptying it out. Uh, these are upgrades, I believe. Um, 
so I'm lucky to find one of these there. Upgraded bar dishes. Uh, but I had nothing special on it, so I don't care. The um, the baseball card I was really looking for was my favorite player of all time, Ken Griffey Jr. So I, wa I wanted to go in and find a signed card of him because, you know, I grew up in the 90s. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And if you grew up in the 90s and you were a baseball fan, you pretty much liked Ken Griffey Jr. You didn't really have a choice. Give me that double axe. It was it was set for you. You you pretty much had to like him. He was a great guy. So I wanted to get an autograph of him. I have a few cards of him still from my collection. Some really good cards of him. Um, but I don't have an autograph because you know how how do you get an autograph of a baseball player when you're ten? Uh, uh, ow! Did not see that tower there. See, look, it does kill the guy up top. Uh, so I went to I went to the, the store that was pretty much all Yu-Gi-Oh. He did he like teleport off it? Sometimes they make it off, sometimes they don't. I don't understand. So I, I I walk in and he's like, Can I help you? And I'm like, um uh, kinda. And he's like, You're a Yu-Gi-Oh player? And I'm like, No. I was looking for baseball cards. And he's like, Oh, I don't have very many of those. Uh, oh okay. And then he pointed me as he pointed me at the direction where he had them in the case, and he had twelve cards. I counted them. He had twelve cards, all of them from the sixties. Uh, so I knew all the names on him, but like I, I oh, that's right. We have to rescue you guys from uh, from prison. I forgot all about you. <laughs> that's how important that quest is to me. <laughs> 